Pete, thank you very much for being here today. Absolutely, man. I love it. You're very astutely dressed with the green tie on. <laughs> yes. I see what you're doing there, brother. Thank you. I thank like you. that. So let's talk about the difference, first and foremost, with recreational as okay. opposed to medical marijuana. Sure. Well, when you're talking about recreational, you're typically going to be talking about, it's kind of like alcohol, right? You've got to be over 21. Um, but when you're talking about medical, there's a, there's a much grayer line. For instance, in Virginia, it was only allowed for one form of epilepsy, and now it's actually for just about anything relating to uh, medical needs. Which is great, which is great, because you, you hear so many um, people, sick folk, talk about you know the impact positively that this had on them, but there's such a negative connotation out there Absolutely. to marijuana and its use. Right. So let's talk about the states that uh, currently offer or allow medical and recreational marijuana. Well, the rush is on, right? And yeah, that's, that's it really, really the way. Rush. It, it's, it's a rush. Yeah. You've got California. Basically, if you look at the whole entire West Coast, you've got it covered. Now, what, what Colorado was really and unique just to interrupt was, you really quick there, as you see, Illinois is on there. It's a red state, which means medical marijuana is broadly legalized. Correct. Continue. Correct. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. And if you're, you're checking it out, when you look at Colorado around it, right, you have a lot of... of non-recreational, which made it almost like an island state. So when you're talking about the difference between medical and recreational and how it's kind of crossing and rushing across the United States, you're looking at a real opportunity that we've never had before, and putting this genie back in the bottle isn't going to happen. It's really not. So no. where do you think legalization is going federally? You kind of touched on it a little bit. There. I did. Well, that's because you're really looking at probably the next election, presidential election. This is going to be one of the key things on it if uh, Trump doesn't take care of it before then. I mean, that's there. there's no way again. So to this put it administration, back in. as you see it, they are definitely on your guy's side trying to push this thing forward, or is it again there, hazy a little bit? It's hazy. The thing about Trump that I like is he's about money, right? And mm -hmm. you're looking at California, you're talking about the sixth largest economy in the world at this point. Um, and you're looking at, it's already in the first three months made $33 billion in, in revenue. So let's talk about that money. How would this affect people trying to make that kind of money here in Illinois? Well, in Illinois, you've got an election, I believe, coming up in November, yes. right? You're going to probably have this on the ballot because you've got 74% of Chicago wants it and 70% of Illinois as a whole wants it on, uh, wants to legalize it recreational. Is, so is that enough to push this thing through then? It, it, I mean, 70% should be, right? You right, think you that think. From, a, from a public standpoint, yes. Um, but right now, what they can do is they can invest in either medical, they can get involved in that aspect of it, or they can go ahead and invest in funds. They can invest in businesses that are in different states that have legalized it recreational and get on that bandwagon. Pete, in 10 seconds or less, what would you say to those people who are staunchly opposed to the idea of legalizing this? How would you combat that notion? I, I would say to, to simply look at the fact that it's already happening, it's going on, and if you want to be able to capitalize on that and take it away from the drug runners, take it away from the cartels, and put it into your communities like Colorado, then you really need to take a deeper look at what this can do. Pete Asmus, very good stuff Thank right you. there. Very timely issue. One that's not going away anytime soon. No. It'll be interesting to see how this one develops moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Friend. We got it done. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you're looking to make money off the green rush, you can get a copy of Peter's book by heading to PeteAsmus.com. Oh, I didn't get little sleep tattoos right there, brother. Okay. I see you, Pete. <laughs>